Hey, it's Holly from Live in a Country, and today is day seven of the 10 Home Tours in 10 Days series here on our channel. And today we have Rosemary from Honey Creek Farm 1896 sharing her gorgeous home. She has thrifted finds, beautiful farmhouse pieces, and just such a beautiful cottage style home. So you guys are gonna get lots of inspiration, so am I. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's tour. Hi, my name is Rosemary and welcome to our cottage. My husband Jamie and I bought this cottage almost two years ago and have slowly been making it our own. I would say my style is a farmhouse cottage and I definitely like a collected cozy feel to each room. I have a few cupboards out here that I absolutely love. This being one of them is a just a vintage cupboard which holds my crock collection, some ironstone, grain sacks, and collected finds over the years. Another favorite cupboard out here and as you can see, it's pretty small, <laughs> is this beautiful step back. And I bought that second hand as well. And it holds my ironstone collection. I definitely like to thrift for many of the pieces that you'll see in my home. And the room right off of the living room is our bedroom. The cupboard straight ahead is a, an antique pine canning cupboard. It's a gorgeous piece. In this room, all we have done to date is paint. I like a neutral decor. I feel it gives off a calming vibe to it, I guess. Um, I like creams and whites and wood tones. And off of this room is another bedroom, which I will take you over to. The main floor has a circular feel to it, I guess, style to it, design to it. And this is the second bedroom, which we use for our grandkids. The blue, red, and white decor does stay up in here all year round. I feel it gives it more of a whimsical feel for the kids. They're all little. Um, they do have this fun little corner uh, with that vintage chalkboard and that rocking chair it was my mother's when she was little. I do have a neat little bird collection for them in here. The next room on the main floor that I'm going to show you is the bathroom, which we did do a little bit of work to. Uh, we removed the medicine cabinet and put in that beautiful wood antique mirror. My husband made the peg rail and we put in a fun 50 style to me flooring. The cottage was built in 1957, so I feel the floor in here um, really plays off that. I also put in an old cupboard 
for storage and it works out perfectly in here. Off of this room, continuing in our circle, is the kitchen. The kitchen is small and one of the projects we have not tackled yet. The only thing we have done in here so far is paint. Uh, my husband made the little shelf above the window there to showcase some of the master, my master collection. And below that is an antique workbench that works in many rooms. The plans for the kitchen are painting the cupboards and replacing the sink and faucet. I like to keep the curtains neutral and the windows pretty open in here to let in a lot of light. We have, we do live in town, but we have a pretty wooded lot and no worries about that. Another cupboard in here that I absolutely love is this one right here, or not cupboard, I should say shelf. My husband also built that and I just change it up with the seasons so it works out perfectly. And then if you continue in the circle here, you'll go back into the living room. There is a full-size basement, uh, partially finished, but let me take you into the loft. And this is the loft. We did a quite a bit of work on this last fall. It had the wood walls that were the color of this railing. Green carpet on the floor. So we did a lot of priming and painting and staple pulling. The floor you see now was the subfloor just wide plank floors and we painted them a little bit darker than the walls. This is probably one of my, or probably the favorite room of mine in the house and it's currently used as a guest room. It does have three of these cubby doors which is great for storage and a lot of flea market finds over the past few years. I have picked up to decorate this space. The little dresser up here was also given to me by my mother. And the basket was just a thrifted find. The views up here in the winter time are absolutely beautiful the snow and the hillsides and the pastures. Again, I wanted this room just to feel open and cozy. And I think I've accomplished that so far. The little rocking horse there at the end of the staircase was made by my great great grandpa. So it's one of the only heirlooms I have out. But thank you for following along on my home tour and have a wonderful day. A big thank you to Rosemarie for opening up her stunning home to share with us here today. If you guys got inspiration, make sure you guys stay tuned for all the home tours so you guys don't miss out on any new ideas for your home. I will see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.